Okay, I'm gonna teach y'all how to uh, download um or I mean I'm gonna teach y'all how to do um uh part like parties with friends and uh like get skins for everyone using Mobile Day 2 with Project Baby 3. And um yeah I'm gonna teach y'all how to do that. So today, um I mean uh, right now you wanna uh, download Longwind V2. If y'all don't already have it, I'll just leave it in the, the description down below. The, after that, just go to your files where extract it and somewhere extract it, open open it up. So let's go into here, open it up, Longwind V2 server, install the packages, and then go into config. Alright, once you're in config, you don't want to do anything. Uh, yeah, just don't do anything. Just keep it open. Oh yeah, also, what I uh, should do, if it doesn't work, you all you, you want to change the port. It's going to be like 8080. Change it to the port that you have, which is probably 3551, which is for the default. So just change it to that port. Save it, close, and then keep this open. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to developer portal. So, Discord developer portal. Go to uh, this, go to um, new application. So, we're gonna name it like Lawnbot. So, name it Lawnbot. And uh, after that, we wanna go into bot. Uh, let's see. Go into bot. No, no, no. All right. So right here, go into Q auth. Click everything. Click everything. Just like that. And um, yeah. Once you have everything clicked, make sure you press it on admin. And um, yeah. Go into bots. Make sure it's on admin. And then go into this URL, make it an app, do bots, the admin. And then after that, we're gonna go into bot, uh, QAuth URL generator, make sure it's on bot, admin. And then you wanna, all right, so after this, you wanna copy this. And this is gonna redirect your bot into your Discord server. Oh yeah, by the way, make sure you have a Discord server. This is how you're gonna uh, create your account and everything so you and your friends can use this. So, uh, paste it in. I don't invite the lot. It'll prompt you. I already have it, so I'm not gonna do it. But it'll prompt you and it'll say, do you want to invite this bot to the server? Make sure to give it admin, admin if it gives it the options though. So, once that's in, after that, like, okay, bot. So bot, you wanna press reset token. Once you press reset token, it will give you to a fake code. I'm not sure if it is to fake code, but you wanna, if it does, then yeah, just press in your to a fake code, which is an authenticator app in your phone. And it'll give you the to a fake code. After that, you're gonna go into here. This is what you're gonna use. So, paste that in, paste in that code right here in between these little things. And then make sure your match matchmaker IP is this, and your game server IP is this. Exactly, I'm not sure if it's already by default, but make sure it looks like this. So after that, your this is your Discord ID. So by just doing that, you just wanna go right here, copy user ID, paste it in between here. Uh, Control S, save, close that out. Um, after that, you're done with the bot. So, you want to go into here, your Discord server. This is where you're gonna create your account and stuff. So, hi, uh, what you want to do to create your account is just do slash create. Email password, type in a notepad somewhere. Make sure you remember it. Email password, your username, and then boom. It's like that. Uh, then after that, just close everything out. And then after that, you created your account. Your um your friends will have to do the same if they want to join you, and um, yeah, they they will have to join you. So what you want to do now is go into your file explorer, 
I'm gonna leave these two uh this this one download in the description. We're not gonna use it till later, but what you wanna do now is download Cobalt Main. I will leave that in the description as well. Download Cobalt Main. So once you download that, extract it somewhere, open this, the Cobalt. You by the way, you need Microsoft Visual Studio to do all this stuff. So um yeah. So after that, you wanna um so if you're using Radman, you wanna um which you probably should so you can get better ping for your friends and stuff get radman paste in the ip that you're hosting with paste it in between here and between here and then after that is po uh it's pasted make sure this is your host your host port which is basically 3551 i'm pretty sure by default if not uh check you can check by going to here and that's your host port so after that's done, make sure this is on release and not debug, not release prod. Make sure this is on release. So after that, go on to build, build solution. And it will be down here somewhere, build solution. And once it's done, it will say like build succeeded. And um, yeah, once that's done, uh, control S, control S out of that. And then you will go into X64, release. And then boom, right here, this is where you wanna go. Right here, cranium.dll, and then cobalt. This like these two files. Um, it will show cobalt by default in here. So you just wanna rename the DLL that says cobalt, rename it to cranium, and then, all right, so and then after that, just, just leave it in there for now. You wanna create a folder, name it whatever you want, create the folder and so now this is what uh this is what's the, the project reboot exe is, uh, is gonna be into so the project reboot exe is basically an alternative launcher by this because you can't launch uh, a headless for some reason i don't know why but you can't launch a headless server um probably with the new thing this new launcher is gonna come out but new headless server um new folder Boom, just like that go into here and uh yeah put in the the project reboot exe launcher into here and um oh yeah the cranium we're gonna go into cranium the cobalt main x64 once you rename to the cranium go drag it into the folder the new folder that is in the project reboot exe thing and then after that is done uh you want to open the project reboot exe and um yeah once you uh oh shit once you uh opened it it will say add account details so uh i'm not sure what, what it is but add account details and then this is where the uh the information that you created with the, the bot is going to be so once you uh where have you saved it put in the email and the password just like that add your version and then launch the launch the version and this is what your friends are going to do once they once your friends have created an account basically but they don't really need to do much to join you all they need to do is the same create cranium dll that you're using give it to them get uh ex same exact cranium dll you're using put these two files in a folder and give it to them uh give it to them and then just like that uh they have to launch it add account details same exact way that you did with your reboot launcher and then what you're going to do to um the host basically is you want to make another another folder with the exact same cranium and reboot exe exact same thing exact and um after that you want to put that in a folder somewhere in another folder name it game server so um after that you want to you want to go back to here and get another discord account another discord um then join into the server make an account and then once you've made an account on your other discord server you want to go back into here and go into the the file with the game server so mine would be right here yeah project game server and um open that and just add the account details and launch it but make sure you launch the client first which is your main 
project reboot uh basically alternative so add the account details and make sure you launch this one first the, the folder that you had originally launch that one first launch that and then yeah you by the way you want to um and then after that it's all done uh don't uh don't launch it yet but um you want to go into your lower one v2 server main start it boom and uh just like that but uh we're not going to start it yet so what you want to do now is i will leave these two files in the description they are called mongo db and ssl these two files you will need to um download them and go through the whole process of downloading make sure you download the db first which is this one the windows and then uh once you download that boom uh yeah Oh, I'm pretty sure this is this one. This one's the, the compass. Okay, so download the compass first, and then download this SSL and leave the Mongo open. And once you have that open, go into your Lawin v2 main, start it, and then it should say I've successfully connected the Mongo DB. By the way, I've had issues with Mongo. They will um, like it won't be shown anymore as connected to the back end. So it's kind of weird. So um, what I usually do to fix it when it doesn't show anymore is just reinstall the SSL, reinstall the Mongo SSL, which is basically the Windows x86, and then install it again, and it usually fixes. So I mean that's for me. I'm not sure if it'll fix it for you, but let me know if you have any problems. Once you have that open, uh, go into your Lawin, start it, and then yeah, launch it. Do the the game client folder which is would basically for me this project reboot launched the client so um yeah hold on let me just go through the whole process for y'all so launch mongo db compass and uh launch the v2 all right so connected back end all right so after that you just want to go into your project this and then open this launch the version so mine would be 19.10 launch that and once that's launched you want to go in go ahead and go into here and go into your game server that you had saved before game server launch that this is how you can host and stuff basically so launch the client 19.10 is for my reference of the version i'm using so um yeah just like that um And then after that, you just launch, yeah. And then, yeah, basically that's it. Mine didn't show because I'm currently running off my uh, my uh, my VPS backend, so I don't really have the thing yet. But yeah, that's basically it. So um, yeah, that's basically all. It, it will definitely show that you're connected for you, but I'm just running off my VPS, so I don't really need the login for my own backend. So um, yeah, that's basically it. I hope, I hope it wasn't too complicated. I'm not really good at making these tutorials. Not gonna lie, but um, if you have any questions, I will leave my Discord down and uh, just yeah, make sure to um, just like DM me any questions that you have. I will try to read them all if I have enough time. I will try to, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. I hope y'all enjoyed i hope it was too complicated and yeah peace guys